Okay, before I start this all up and show you what's going on, let me show you the various pieces. Here's a meter, which as you see goes up here and connects across this three farad capacitor. Now what's driving that off of a 12 volt battery is a sec exciter through a new different coil that I've got called a cloud coil. And then it goes up to an L3 into two diodes to charge the capacitor. Now because of the energy this is putting out, I'm going to back up and let you watch the meter. And then when it's done, I'm going to go ahead and put a light bulb across the 3 farad capacitor to show you exactly what it did. And it's all from this coil right here. Uh, okay, I'm going to take and shut it off. Oh, by the way, I have a short on the capacitor right now. So let me take it off, show you that the capacitor has zero voltage on it. Oh, well, not quite, but pretty close, isn't it? Okay, hold on a second. Okay, I backed off because I don't want the sound or anything interfering with the with the camera. This puts out quite a field, that little black nice cloud coil. But you can see the voltage and how fast it's charging the 3 farad capacitor. We're already up to almost 2 volts. And we've got this same setup. I know that I cut the tape off, but I had to. I'm too lazy to put it on a tripod. Oh, yes, well, I think of it, I'm still working to get outside so I can do the other project that we've been talking about for so long. The reason I have it is I went to my uh, cardiologist last Thursday, and he pronounced me a train wreck. So I'm taking it easy for a few days, and then I'll go ahead and, and get outside, but it's so hot here in Texas. And my heat and cold tolerance is almost non-existent, so <laughs> I can't go out. Once I get outside, stick the rods in the in the ground. We'll go ahead and and see how that works out. I'm pretty sure that it's going to be worth the effort when I finally get there. So we can see we're up to 4.8, almost 5 volts already. There we go. Sec exciter. Now also if you see here, I've got a little LED with an AV plug on it sitting on top of that capacitor. That's also changing the tuning to where it would charge a whole lot faster if it wasn't there. The fact that the meter's hooked to it really is pulling the whole system down. Uh, we're probably looking at a 20% increase if we take everything off. The reason I say that is what I've done is taken everything off of it, ensured that it was zero, started a timer, and come back at the end of a particular time frame, measured everything, and found out that there was a significant difference. Over a period of say eight to ten minutes, uh, actually it's more like six to eight, but when we get to that point, as long as the time's the same, we measure the different voltage coming out of it without touching anything else, and we find out that there's about a 20-22% difference. So whenever you hang equipment on to uh, some of the SEC equipment, or some of the SEC circuits, you're going to degrade things greatly. And so we're getting we're getting up there the cloud coil we're dry as you can see it's a single wire circuit obviously uh, being fed through a 400 mica capacitor rather than directly as L3 is is coming out of L32 rather than L31 and the cloud coil then feeds the actual L3 and so the energy difference here is what the cloud coil is picking up. 
Uh, I'll get into it later, but I just wanted to show it to you now, and we'll go ahead and at some point in the future cover exactly what's going on here and what this little thing is, really. It's not a massive coil, let me uh, clarify that. Uh, it's specially wound on an aluminum rod. Uh, I'll tell you that much right now. Okay, so we're up to 10, almost up to 11 volts on a 3 ferret capacitor already. Yes, I have measured the battery voltage. Uh, I can't measure current drain because it doesn't, the circuit doesn't like it. So what I've done is uh, measured start and end voltage and found that it could run for a significant amount of time or cycles charging this capacitor. Okay, I'm going to let it get up to about 12 volts uh, and then I'll go ahead and turn it off and stick a light bulb across that capacitor. Okay, we're approaching we're approaching 12. How high will it take it? Higher than the capacitor's rating. Uh, the capacitor's rated for auto, uh, auto aud audio use and is good to about 13.6. I can take this guy up considerably higher using the cloud coil. Okay, and then we're approaching 12.56, 12.6. That's good enough for for show business. Okay, what I have here is a an old style uh, filament auto tail light. And I'm going to go up here. Let me turn this light out so you can see things better. I'm going to go up here and put that light across the capacitor. And I can't hang on to the bulb because it gets too hot. But you can see it it's consuming the energy. It's dying down. Okay, that's far enough for today. I hate long videos. Thanks for watching.